Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to change things up a little. Uh, we've been playing pretty much all constructed on the channel, so I thought we'd play a little limited with Ravnica. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So this first pack, I already have the Sacred Foundries full, so rare drafting isn't necessarily there. Uh, it's deciding if we want to force Boros, or if we want to go... Demir. Uh, I think this opens us up to a little bit more. Doesn't get us committed to pack. Uh, Healer Hawk is also good, so Boros probably should have been where we went. Healer Hawk's one of the best, like one drops that we can play, or we can go Demir. We have Notion Rain as well. Muse Drake. Yeah, let's go. Let's play some Demir today. Uh, this pack doesn't do much. We can splash. Like, Wallamist is fine. None of the other cards are good. So we'll take Sonic Assault. So Creeping Chills, pretty good. Dark Blade Agents, another good payoff card. Take Dark Blade. Take the Thought Erasure. Here we want to decide between the Guild Gate. We're not really playing the Undergrowth stuff. Veil Shade's fine. Probably just want the Mana Fixing. Here, there's not too much in this pack. The red cards aren't worth splashing, so we'll just take the Crab. Here, I like... So we can cast this in our deck. I uh, just double black. It's a good blocker. Uh, here, because nothing's really that good, we'll just take the land in case we want to splash green instead. Uh, so we got the is it guild gate again. Just seeing it, what's worth taking. Here, nothing that great. So we'll just take the vapors. Gain creatures you control gain death touch, so we'll just take the Wallamist. Take the Harpooners. And pause for reflection in the graveyard. XL all cards from opponent's graveyard. You may cast those as though you spend any mana. Uh, okay, so that's alright. Here, I think the pick is Thoughtbound Phantasm is pretty solid. Capture Sphere. Uh, just a way to deal with opponent's creatures is another good one. Plague Crafter is also pretty good. I think we continue with the Surveil theme. Uh, here we'll take the Creeping Chill. It's a payoff. Uh, this one we will take... Dark Blade Agent. So we want some more Surveil effects, so this is good. Uh, we'll take the Barrier Wall. Sonic Assault's another option. Uh, so is Dark Blade Agent. Uh, Watcher in the Mist is a really good top end for the deck. Uh, here. Probably just take another Muse Drake. Here's the choices if we want to go. Disdainful Stroke, or if we want the Centipede. Don't really have anything in the... Th well, I guess we do have some 3-drop slot. So if we organize... That's all in the 4-drop. Everything else in our deck's pretty much tap out. We're not flashing in anything, so probably just go the the centipede. So here, this isn't too bad, just as a tempo play. Also, can rebuy our surveil effects, or we go with the the Vidalkin mesmerist, which can. 
It's an early blocker. I think we'll go with the tempo play. Uh, not much in this hand. Take... A recluse. Here I'll just take the... We don't have a lot of like throwaway creatures in the deck. Need more creatures, we'll just take the leapfrog. Take the locket here. Take vicious rumors. Okay. Come on. Here, so dead weight's really good as early removal. The imp as a one drop. I think we go either. Let's go watcher in the mist. Also looking for some duels at this point. Uh. I like this as an early blocker, plus it could force through damage. Take another barrier. So here, this gives us a surveil. We're not 100% sold if we're going to even splash for the red, so I'd rather take that. Here, I'll just take the on-color locket. There's nothing in this pack we want. So here we decide if we want the Pitless Gorgon or just the mana fixing. I like the Death Touch. Lifelink's pretty good. So we're seeing a lot of Healer Hawks. Probably should have forced Boros early. Severed Strand is removal. It uh, doesn't matter at this point with this pack. Green was really open in this draft. Wow, just nothing in these last like five or six picks. So let's get rid of the red cards. See where we're at. So five cuts. Sorry about that. Just a quick sip of coffee. So we're at 21 creatures. So lock it on three. We doesn't really ramp. We don't need the ramping. The necropolis isn't too bad. With so many creatures, that seems reasonable. Probably cut the crab. Cut the leapfrog. Cut the wall of mist. So I was hoping for like disinformation campaign. Would have been good. Vicious rumors. Can probably play 16 lands actually. We're not playing anything too heavy in the curve, and we have a lot of congregate. Let's try 16 lands. So we'll take it for a spin. I think that early pick should have been Boros if we would have taken the Justice Strike into the the Hawk. Probably would have made the most sense. Also, not getting any really good rares in the pack didn't help. So, hopefully our opponent's on a bit of a slower plan. Uh, Mulligan. I'll keep this hand because we have two one-drops. And we get the scry. So 
So here, I want to surveil first to make sure I hit a land. Perfect. So here we can probably wait a turn to break up their hand. Okay, so here we'll thought erasure. Okay, so opponents got the beginning of your upkeep exile creature card from your graveyard if you do. This is a vigilance. This creature removal. So it's fine if they take a card from our hand. Charnel Worm probably serves the most upside, so. I'm gonna offer the trade here. So they do that. So we'll see what happens. Pitless Gorgon would probably be my choice here. They've already shown the necrotic wound with the creatures in the graveyard. So just force him to discard here. They got rid of a forest. So they can start attacking in there. This being only at sorcery speed's a little awkward. So I wanted to hit a land there. So we hit the line there. I'm just gonna play out the Necropolis. They have two creatures in the graveyard. So no blocks here because they can play this, shrink it down, and then trade profitably. Next turn, at least by sacking barrier bones. Also, we're not doing terribly in the race. So I'm going to sack the barrier of the bones here. Gets menace. They want to block. They use the wound. We can kill the uh, wary Okapi. If not, now we can just try to start racing them. Opponents have five lines as well. They still have the removal spell, necrotic wound. Gonna hold off. It's not worth doing as long as they're holding necrotic wound. That's actually really good for us. So there was a play where we can do this in surveil. 
But this may maybe lets us sneak in some damage. Okay. So like this they, they blow up our worst spell. Uh, and they're gonna take the trade. Necrotic wound it? No, they don't even necrotic wound. So they're at three creatures. So hopefully this just clears up the top of our library. We just want action now. Five mana is all we need in the deck. So they'll attack in likely with the imp. No blocks here because we'd actually just end up dying from the creature. So that swings the race in their favor. So that can probably help things in the long run. See if they want to sack the imp. It's hoping for more of a throwaway creature that we can Ah, so Burglar Rat actually gets rid of that, which makes it a little awkward. So we'll see what we draw here. Uh, here we need to play defense. Okay, that's fine. Like this, they're gonna necrotic wound. Let's see what they do here. Okay. So this will probably get them to attack weird all in. Let's bounce that. Uh, how many creatures? One, two, three, four. Sure. Buys us a couple more turns. Five life back to twenty. So here I'm just going to do it like this, so we at least get it off the battlefield. Gives us a redraw. Yeah, we're done on this one. I think the important lesson in all this is go Boros. Dark Blade Agent's good. 
So here I'm just gonna lead on the guild gate. Get that in so our curve's not messed up. So we'll just do this now. Discard the bat. So it's a vampire rogue. So I Deal play would be like the wall of bones, so then we can surveil because they have the night reaper. Oh, we got it. Okay. So that gives us our land. We need to say night. Pay one bounce this and then we can attack with the agent drop the turn next turn we can severed strands the reaper gain three kill the reaper and then attack in again Zob as well. So here we're just gonna kill the little Zob. So opponent was able to crack a lot better Demir cards than us. We're gonna kill that. We're gonna attack in first. Let's see if the opponent blocks. They might be hesitant to think we can instant speed give it death touch. So that's basically just a free two points of damage, and then Child of Night comes down. Product wound. Followed by the Night Reaper. Yeah, don't think our deck's that good. Just play out the centipede. Pass the turn. Our deck's too slow versus aggro and not fast enough against these kind of mid-range mirrors. go. This one's over. Alright, alright. So let's go back for another one. See how we're doing. Cannot get blue sources. Just gonna keep this one. We have vicious rumors into pitless gorgon. Opponent 
it's on some sort of visit scheme. Perfect. So I'll attack in here and then just draw a pitless gorgon. So we have a clock. I'm gonna probably hold the painter till we can use some uh, shenanigans. So here, I'm just gonna attack for the one because it was a little awkward that we're short of blue. Gonna offer the trade here, which is fine, because I want to get the surveil going with outbound phantasm. Uh, here, I'll just get rid of that. Play out another gorgon. So, probably just play this out next turn anyways, just keep applying pressure. Our barrier bones. That's why I'm usually not a fan of three colors in this type of draft. Uh, so we can, we have the option of... Yeah, let's set this up. Don't want the land. This gets us closer. I'll probably block one here. This is what I like about Pitless Gorgon. You can put it in green decks, you can put it in black decks, uh, and then splash a different color, and then it's just an awkward body like a lot of times the opponent's going to make an unfavorable trade okay that's awkward we wanted to play that so if the opponent's showing discard we'll just play out our lands However, considering that wasn't a blue source, it may, might have made sense. Okay, so I hit a locket. Decision should be pretty easy for our opponent. Either you're blocking or you're not. So we're just going to end the turn here in case they have discard and they want to blow it. So here we can force through the damage, which is probably the best. A little aggressive on our part, but I want to try to close this, this game out as fast as possible. Come on, opponent. So the opponent waited too long on that. So 
So they have the fresh face recruit. Gonna play out the island just past the turn. Thousand year storm. Sure. <sighs> Come on. I've had no good draws. So holding the lands, let him blue the thought erasure. That was pretty sweet. Uh, what are you, soldier? Just slows him down for a turn. Step leapfrog and fresh face. Oh my. So that is a good number of lines already drawn with the surveil effects. They have the Whispering Snitch as well. And at this point, unless we get a flyer soon. Ah, uh, we had this game. That was a rough draft, guys. So we'll just crack our pack. 03 with this. Haven't had much luck with Demir. Ah, at least we're rewarded with a rare wild card. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe.